Turn the base plate upside down and align four screw holes with the rotary headstock. Tighten the four M3X10 screws using the H2 hex key. Slide the tailstock onto the track of the base plate. Adjust the tailstock's position based on the size of the object to be engraved. Once the desired position is found, tighten the lever by turning it clockwise. Single step jaws. Turn the angle adjustment knob counterclockwise to loosen the rotary headstock. Turn the rotary chuck to an upright position, then tighten the knob in a clockwise direction. Attach the single step jaws to the rotary chuck using 6M36 screws and the H2.5 hex key. Double step jaws. Follow the same method. Attach the double step jaws to the rotary chuck using 6M3 screws and the H2.5 hex key. stud component. Select the appropriate hole position on the rotary chuck based on the size of the object. Secure all three studs in place by screwing them in. Turn the angle adjustment knob counterclockwise to loosen the rotary headstock. Turn the rotary chuck to the upright position at 180 degree, then tighten the knob in a clockwise direction. To adjust for the material's diameter, rotate the chuck counterclockwise to open the jaws. Use vernier calipers to measure the object's diameter, or alternatively, use the measuring tape. Place the object to be engraved into the chuck and rotate it clockwise to securely tighten the jaws. Use the hex key H3 to tighten the chuck by rotating it clockwise. Release the knob. Tilt the object and place it on the tailstock. Adjust the tailstock to the desired position and secure it by tightening the lever. Place the gradienter on the top of the object. Adjust the height of the support bracket by turning the screw on top of the tailstock. Continue adjusting until the level indicates that the object is horizontal. Use the hex key H3 to tighten the chuck by rotating it clockwise. To secure the chuck, align the white dots on the chuck with the arrow indicator, then press the lock button. Place the elevation pad under the rotary extension to ensure it is level with the base plate and balanced. With conical protective cover. First, ensure that the laser unit and the rotary extension plug interface are on the same side. Connect the cable from the laser unit to the electric stand. Connect the cable from the laser unit accessory USB port to the power input of the rotary extension. Connect the conical protective cover to the USB port on the laser unit. Connect the power cable to the laser unit and the power adapter to a stable power supply. Finally, unlock the chuck by pressing the lock button to allow it to rotate during the engraving process. Without protective cover, not recommended. First, ensure that the laser unit and the rotary extension plug interface are on the same side. Connect the cable from the laser unit to the electric stand. Connect the cable from the laser unit accessory USB port to the power input of the rotary extension. Connect the power cable to the laser unit and the power adapter to a stable power supply. Finally, unlock the chuck by pressing the lock button to allow it to rotate during the engraving process. Open the laser pecker design space on your computer and connect to your LP5 machine. From the toolbar on the left, click image and import the desired image. Resize the image if necessary. On the right side of the screen, click the gear icon and select mode setting. Enable the rotary extension feature. Navigate to the right side of the screen and click the arrow next to device information. Confirm that the rotary extension has been successfully activated. Enter the pre-measured diameter of the object to be engraved. Right-click the image and select rasterize. From the toolbar, select effect and choose black and white. Select the image and click Align on the toolbar, then choose Align Center. Input the desired size of the image and center it again. Adjust the image's angle according to the object's direction and the desired result. In this example, the image is rotated to match the position of the object. Enter the desired engraving settings. 
Then click Preview to dynamically view the image's size and position for engraving. Click Next, and then confirm to start the engraving process. Use the same method with the single-step jaws for engraving. Use the stud grip to engrave the outside of the bracelet. Turn the angle adjustment knob counterclockwise to loosen the rotary headstock. Turn the rotary chuck to the upright position at 180 degrees, then tighten the knob in a clockwise direction. To adjust for the bracelet's diameter, rotate the chuck counterclockwise to open the jaws. Secure the bracelet and the chuck, ensuring the stud grip holds it from the inside. Rotate the chuck clockwise to tighten the jaws securely. Release the knob, tilt the rotary headstock down 90 degrees, then tighten the knob. To secure the chuck, align the white dots on the chuck with the arrow indicator, then press the lock button. Start the engraving process. Use the stud grip to engrave the ring. Use the stud grip to engrave baseball. Turn the angle adjustment knob counterclockwise to loosen the rotary headstock. Turn the rotary chuck to the upright position at 180 degrees, then tighten the knob in a clockwise direction. To adjust for the baseball's diameter, rotate the chuck counterclockwise to open the jaws. Secure the baseball in the chuck. Rotate the chuck clockwise to securely tighten the jaws. Release the knob, tilt the rotary headstock down 90 degrees, then tighten the knob. Adjust the tailstock to the desired position and turn the screw on the top to set the desired height for the material grip, tightening the lever at the bottom. To secure the chuck, align the white dots on the chuck with the arrow indicator, then press the lock button. Start the engraving process. Turn the angle adjustment knob counterclockwise to loosen the rotary headstock. Turn the rotary chuck to the upright position at 180 degrees, then tighten the knob in a clockwise direction. To adjust for the tumbler's diameter, rotate the chuck counterclockwise to open the jaws. Secure the tumbler in the chuck. Use the hex key H3 to tighten the chuck by rotating it clockwise. Release the knob, tilt the rotary headstock down 90 degrees to the opposite direction. Adjust the tailstock to the desired position. To secure the chuck, align the white dots on the chuck with the arrow indicator. Then press the lock button. Place the elevation pad and the tailstock as shown in the video. Place the rotary extension with the tumbler. Start the engraving process. If you have any other questions or need further technical support, feel free to contact the LaserPecker support team at support at laserpecker.com.